Jackson's getting ready for a big event that comes just one time every four years. 16 WAPT's Hanas Brown is live at Thalia Mara Hall with what this means for the capital city. Hanas. Well, Scott, the 10th International Ballet Competition in Jackson kicks off here at Thalia Mara Hall on Saturday. Organizers say that during the two weeks the ballet is in town, they expect between 30 and 40,000 people to pack the auditorium seat. The big two-week-long ballet competition means big bucks for Jackson. People are staying in hotels, they're eating, you know, they're shopping. You know, we have dancers from all over the world, and they want to go shop, they want to go look, and they're spending money here. Jackson is the only place you can see the international ballet competition in the United States. A study from the University of Southern Mississippi found the 2010 ballet brought in $10.2 million for the state. Restaurants in the capital city say they're ready for the big crowds. We're just looking forward to having, you know, a lot of new people into the, into the area, first-timers to our restaurant, just treating them to a good time. We're going to have two extra servers here, and we'll have two bartenders during that time. And they aren't the only ones prepping for the payout. Bellhaven University cashes in by housing the competitors who will come to Jackson from 20 different countries. This place just becomes the international village, and it's just it's real exciting. Organizers say the competition here in the Magnolia State has something special that you can't get from the show in Europe. Our southern hospitality. I think that showing these dancers from other countries what that we want them to have the best experience here. Now, Thalia Mara Hall reopened just in time for the ballet. You'll remember that they were under a four-month renovation period with a price tag of about $5 million. And again, the opening ceremonies kick off here on Saturday. Live from Thalia Mara Hall in Jackson, Hadass Brown, 16 WAPT News. Thanks a lot, Hadass.